Hello again, here we are for even more lovely maths. This time we're going to have a look at the slope intercept equation and I'm going to introduce it. And the way I'm going to show you this, the way to form it, is usually using sorry, an equation we've already seen, which we call standard form. And this is very typical, the Americans really love to use this form. And that is AX plus BY equals C, where A, B and C are integers. Now, if you can rearrange any equation into this format, even before I try and find points or try to plot it, this is what we call a linear equation, which means when I draw it on a graph, I get a straight line. Straight line, linear, you get it? Good. Now, what I'm going to do to this, now don't worry, if you're not American, you're British, or some from another country, you've never seen it in this format, you might not need to watch this video, but watch the one afterwards. But this is going to be a short one anyway. But what I'm going to do is rearrange it so that y becomes a subject. That means I need to get rid of everything on this side except the y. So the equation reads y equals with everything on the other side. So you're supposed to have this skill already. So I want you to stop the video and see if you can rearrange the equation and make y the subject now. Okay? I mean, stop the video, stop looking at the rabbit and waving. Stop the video and make y the subject now. Okay, let's see if you've got it right. Now, first of all, I would like to get rid of this AX. And to do that, I'm going to subtract AX from both the left and the right-hand side. And then my equation would look like this. Next, I need to get rid of the B. So I need to divide every single item by B to keep the balance. My equation will then look like this. Now this is really quite a mess of an equation. But let's think about what each part is doing. A is a number, B is a number. They're dividing and it's the negative of it. Wouldn't it be better just to represent it by one letter? So let's do that. So where minus A over B is, I'm just going to replace that with a little m. This C over B is rather messy too. So let's replace the C over B, which again will just be another number, and let's call it small b. This is now what we call the slope intercept equation. Why? Well, this part here tells us the slope value. And remember, we sometimes also call that gradient. This value here tells us where the line intercepts the y-axis. The number that it intercepts the y-axis. So if we had a quick graph here, you had a straight line here, that's the y-intercept, where this line hits the y-axis. Okay. Now if you're British or Australian or New Zealand, you begin, you're not supposed to write B, you're supposed to write C. Well, there you go. I won't want to in upset any other viewers. The reason I've written B is because I work at an American school and we tend to use B as the intercept. We just use a different letter, but it's the same thing. It still is Y equals MX plus B or Y equals MX plus C, where the M values represent the slope, the gradient, the steepness, and the C or the B, depending on the version you use, represents where the line cuts the Y axis. The next video you need to watch will be called Finding the Slope or Gradient and the Y-intercept from an Equation. Okay, that's all for the moment. Stop the video and copy down the notes. Then go to the next video I told you about.